Hi folks. Back in the river here. Uh, uh, I've done uh, nothing yet for down me, but I'm, I'm uh, <coughs> going to give it a go now for a couple of weeks here in this river. It's been a busy year for me and uh, it's going to be a busy year for me, so I'm not going to get a whole lot done, but uh, I'm going to try and set a few mink snares here and see how we get on this year. I had none in the snares last year, uh, and I've done very little last year, but uh, yeah, um, a little bit of sign, I'll just show you now. Uh, let me for a minute. So yeah, uh, there's a little bit of sign here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, Here and there, very not too many, to be honest. But um, I had a sit down here last, no, year before last year. <coughs> down here at these rocks. Uh, I'm going to set that up again now with a snare. Uh, as you can see, the from here, the the uh, the bank is wide. <coughs> Pretty wide and it says gets narrow. Gauge the bank gets narrow. The flat part. That's what you want to be looking for. Like you would traps or snares. A bit narrow patch. Narrow them in. Then uh, to go through your trap go through your snare. Now you want to set this up. So let's uh, the box to this all caved in. So I'm just going to open it up a bit and uh, that's right. Yeah, that's it. Uh, not easy to see, but yeah, it is in there. So it's just a uh, hollow under the logs or the rock. Sorry, um, it'd be hard enough to see see it, but yeah, just a little uh, <coughs> tunnel built with the rocks, a few sticks along the sides and stuff just to uh, guide them right into it rather than around it and a snare there uh, we'll going up now and we'll set a few more uh, the snare is about 3 inches wide it's, it's that one again, yeah, about 3 inches 2 and a half, 3 inches what I usually set mine at anyways, we'll go on up here further and we'll uh, set a few more Well. I'm at this old place here, um, far side of the bank. I uh, can't really see that, but that's where I usually have my set in there. There should used to be a hole in there, and I have to just dig it back out and put a pocket set in there. And there's a big tree there. And uh, you can't see it, but there's a drop off there, at the, just at the edge of that tree. A little narrow spot, it drops off there, so I'll put a little snare there as well. Okay, I'll show you them when I have them done. Okay. Yeah, there's the first one. Simple enough, just a little uh, pocket. It's here in front of it. I have, uh, I don't have, well, I have one of those little um, frogs in there. That work well for me, you can just about see it there. Anyways, that's that one. And, uh, see the, see the simple enough sets now. It's not major, but. The other one, just that narrow patch, a um, big bit of grass and stuff blocked it up a little bit more. But there's a natural pass going around that tree, and uh, just that one on that. I usually have a brick here left here for this, but somehow we, um, uh, I have a, I keep them a bunch of them all together, and uh, they seem to be gone. Oh, someone came across them, <laughs> so I had to improvise, I stapled it to the tree and uh, I'll take those staples out and all when I'm going, when I'm finishing up with it, but that's all I could do. Put a little, uh, little stick snarling it down, so I just go into the snare. Anyways, that's that. Uh, I'll see if I can find my bricks, I'll set a few more, if not, I won't set too many more. 
Uh, I'll bring a few more but maybe next day and set them because I have some nice spots that I caught making before and I want to I'd like to set them up again. Anyways, ciao for now. Oops. Back down here I set a few more uh, just a couple more snares yesterday in the video but I'm back today put down a couple of bricks with me just for a few areas that I I, uh, I need them in. Um, I have a nice, I'll just show you the brick first. The snare is not on the brick, but uh, that's the brick holder through the brick and a uh, support wire gone through that. And I have a little clip on it to clip on the snare. Clip the snare on, on and off when you're finished using them and just leave the support wire on. Well, anyways, uh, I'm going to set it up in here. Uh, see, there's a, there's a ledge there narrows down it's hard to see all the foliage but it's a, that's an undercut bank and a uh, little ledge I'm sure that's an old tire I might use that uh, for blockage but yeah it goes up there edge of the water and uh, just stick the lesson there there it's a lovely little spot I never caught a mink here yet but hopefully this year and I'll show you when I have it set up okay but it's simple enough set up. There's the snare. Not much to it, might throw a little bit of grass on the side just to look it up a little bit more so it's going to be the easiest path through. Which is through my snare there. I have a little stick under the, right here under the snare, I just put in this one, uh, I call them chin lifters, you know make run with their heads down but a little stick or something in the way it'll pop up the head a little bit and hopefully it'll go straight through the snare. We'll see, hopefully you get a bit of luck this year. Okay, on to the next. Okay, this is another old one here that I used a brick in last year and the year before. I caught one in this year before. It's another uh, kind of a pocket set or bank set. I'm just going to clear this out, get it ready. I think I'm going to use bait in this one. Sardines or something. Uh, yeah, I have ten sardines here actually. Yeah, simple enough sets as well. Let's open the tin a little bit out onto the bank. Should be bent. Tin at the back. Nice mirror set up. Break in there. Let's block it off the top of it, it's too, too much of a gap. Just stick on the side, I don't know if you can see this, but I only have the, the phone, so yeah. Now, let's load it. Put a bit of grass. Knock off that a little. Now, yeah, throw a few feathers as well. Because well, actually, it's outside. This this is a eye attractant. White feather, whitish feathers are better. Well, I like. Stuck feathers is brilliant because it's kind of waterproof, lasts a bit longer. And uh, pigeon feathers, they're not too bad either, they're nice and bright. I have a mixture of 
pleasant duck and pigeon feathers. Oh yes, that's that simple as well. I hope that came out the camera. Right, on to the next. Okay. Let's reset that snare there. Make the loop of that a little bit smaller. It's a bit big. Sort of uh, over here, nothing happening. Knocked as well, so I'll set that up back up again. Yeah, yeah so let's have one more uh, set, set today, and then hopefully, tomorrow the next day, we'll get a bit of action. A bit more action. Anywho, moving on. Okay, this is the last uh, spot. Hey, this is the old bus set, same ones I used before, this is bigger back out. The snare sit there, brick on it. And, uh, tell you, dig a hole straight in, pocket, and then uh, dig another one down to meet the other one. It's in a bit of light, throw in a bit of feathers in there, a bit of fish oil. Set the snare in front of it. That's it, right. Go back to the next few days if nothing happens. Go right back to either way. Anyhow, hope we did it all right. right.